Good morning! So today I'm heading to Peppermint Grove Beach on what might seem like an unusual mission. I'm going to be looking for baby loggerhead turtles. Now before you think I have lost my mind, let me explain why I am searching for these tiny ocean travelers in some of the coldest waters they will ever encounter. When I volunteered at the Dolphin Discovery Center last summer, I discovered something that completely blew my mind. Picture this. Thousands of baby loggerhead turtles hatch on the tropical beaches in northern Australia. These little guys emerge from their sandy nests between January and March, right in the middle of summer. These hatchlings don't just randomly swim around. They follow an ancient GPS system written in their DNA. They are programmed to catch the South Equatorial Current, which should carry them on an epic journey across the Indian Ocean to feeding grounds near Africa and beyond. But some of these babies forget to change trains and end up going south along the Australian coast via the Leuven Current. It's like a one-way ticket to disaster for these tropical creatures. They ride this current for months, getting further and further from the warm waters they need to survive. By the time June and July roll around, as winter sets in, water temperatures along the southwest coast plummet below 15 degrees Celsius. For a tropical turtle, this is like being thrown into a freezer. What happens next is called cold stunning. And it's as brutal as it sounds. These tiny turtles essentially go into a shock. Their metabolism slows to almost nothing. They can't swim properly, they can't feed, and they certainly can't navigate back to warmer waters. Most cold stunt turtles never make it. They die silently out at sea, their tiny bodies sinking into the depths of the Indian Ocean. We will never know how many thousands are lost this way every year. But there is a glimmer of hope. Sometimes, just sometimes, winter storms and massive swells wash these struggling babies onto the beaches. And that gives us one precious chance to save them. Now this is crucial information that could literally save a life. If you ever find a baby turtle on the beach, whether it looks dead, barely moving or struggling, do not throw it back into the ocean. I cannot stress this enough. That turtle will not survive if you put it back in those cold waters. Instead, here is exactly what you need to do. First, gently pick up the turtle and wrap it in a towel, t-shirt or any fabric you have. Second, get on the phone immediately. If you are near Bamburi, call the Dolphin Discovery Center directly. They are the experts at this. For anywhere else in WA, contact the Department of Biodiversity, Conservation and Attractions. They have regional offices everywhere. There is also a wild care helpline. They operate 24-7 and can direct you to the nearest help. Your local vet might also be equipped to help. And don't forget about Shire Rangers. They often coordinate rescues. As a last resort, even local police can help transport turtles or contact the right authorities. When these tiny survivors arrive at the Dolphin Discovery Center, some of them weigh as little as 40 grams. They are about the size of your palm and they are often in critical condition. The rescue process is absolutely fascinating. First, they are placed in fresh water, which might sound counterintuitive for sea creatures, but this helps rehydrate them and removes harmful parasites that have accumulated during their ordeal. The temperature is gradually increased to help their metabolism recover. 
It's a delicate balance. Too fast and you can shock their system. Too slow and they might not recover at all. Once stabilized, they are moved to saltwater tanks. The strongest turtles are placed in the interpretation center where visitors can observe them. You can watch feeding time twice daily. It's incredible to see these little warriors regain their appetite and energy. Every week each turtle is weighed and measured. The turtles stay at the Dolphin Discovery Center until sometime between March and May the following year. By then they have grown considerably and have much better chances of survival. Then comes the best part, the journey home. They are put on a plane back to Ningaloo Reef, then taken by boat onto the open ocean where they belong. These turtles, that were literally hours from death, are now strong, healthy and ready to continue their ancient migration journey. To put everything into perspective, in the wild only one out of every 1000 sea turtles survives to adulthood. These incredible creatures face predators, pollution, climate change and now also this cold stunning crisis. It seems to me as if nature is playing some kind of a cruel joke on these poor animals. I noticed that most turtles at the Dolphin Discovery Center came from Peppermint Beach. And that's why I decided to visit this beautiful stretch of coastline today. I'm checking through the seaweed lines, because that's often where stranded turtles hide. I have not found any turtles today. And honestly, I'm kind of relieved. Because if it was that easy to find one, I would probably feel compelled to patrol this beach every single day during winter. But the real takeaway here isn't about finding turtles, it's about being prepared. Now you know this hidden crisis exists, you know what cold stunning looks like, and most importantly, you know exactly what to do if you ever encounter one of these tiny ocean wanderers in distress. Before today, did you know about this phenomenon? Have you ever found an animal in need on a beach? I would love to hear your stories in the comments below. And remember, sometimes the most important conservation work happens not in distant research stations or marine parks, but right here on our local beaches with ordinary people like you and me who care enough to act when it matters. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time 